All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Elias. I'm a photographer located in Athens, Greece. And in this video, we're going to see a behind the scenes video of basically a portrait shoot that I did with one of my wedding couples. You will be able to see different poses, the gear that I'm going to use, the settings that I will be using for these photographs. And I will also give a little bit of insight, break down a few images, look at the composition, look at the colors in order to also critique a little bit my work. About the gear that I was using in this portrait shoot, basically I did use the Nikon Z5 over here, which is a full frame camera a really low budget full frame camera paired with the Vidrox 85mm 1.8 over here a beautiful portrait lens and also a really budget friendly portrait lens but yeah it gets the job done perfectly and also I'm going to be using the Nikon ZFC which is filming me right now paired with a 23mm f1.4 from Wiltrox. I like using two bodies in portrait situations because I don't want to switch all the time lenses from my main camera over here so whenever i want to use something more wide from the 85 millimeter i just use the nikon zfc with a 23 millimeter which is basically a 35 millimeter in terms of full frame equivalent and one last thing before we continue on to the photo shoot itself this video is sponsored by myself and my presets um, so if you like my editing style that you are seeing here on youtube or on my instagram page and you want to edit like me then basically i have a really affordable preset pack down in the description on my website so if you want to support this channel going on and you like my work then this is the best way to support me but if you cannot do that or if you don't like my editing style let's say a like and a subscribe will be really really helpful in order to continue the growth of the channel anyways let's continue on with a photo shoot so this is right before the ceremony ended and i really like the staircases over here and i also really loved the window light um behind them so i quickly stopped them and even though the light wasn't that good i wanted to grab a few images of the rings of themselves and as you can see here i really like the final result these are nothing special but i do really love the black and white image over here when they're kissing i did a lot of photoshop in order to remove some background elements on the wall you know to make it look cleaner but yeah i really love the final result in these images i'm taking this with an icon zfc and i also denoised these on lightroom because i'm shooting at 4000 iso and yeah i need these images to be cleaner and as you can see the denoise is doing a perfect job i'm denoising my images always at around 20 percent because after that the denoise on lightroom um, starts to make it look like it's an ai art or something like that so yeah don't go above 20 percent 20 percent keeps the image natural looking so yeah and it also does a really nice job cleaning up almost everything so yeah don't be afraid to shoot in higher isos because with the denoises that we have nowadays everything can be saved quite easily and also as you can see here i was shooting at 1 500th of a second in terms of shutter speed this is really dumb i don't know why i did that this was the shutter speed that i was using outside um, in the ceremony so instead of lowering the shutter speed and lowering my iso as well i kept the shutter speed the same and i bumped up the iso which is not ideal obviously so yeah i'm doing a little bit of self-critic over here but yeah it is what it is at least the images are nice and sharp and we got some really nice um, composition and yeah all that good stuff so after the ceremony ended we went downtown athens in order to get a few more couple portraits we did three or four different locations so i'm really happy with the outcome of these images as you can see here i placed my couple in between those pillars over here and i told them basically to relax in order to have an intimate moment of themselves i wanted all the emotions to start feeling up from them and i'm really happy about the results that we were able to capture over here i did a few different angles in order to frame them better between the pillars and all that good stuff so as you can see over here um, in this specific location i used the 85 millimeter from build rocks with the z5 the bouquet that we get in the full frame body is something that i really really love 1.8 is more than enough for this kind of portrait shoots and as you can see i'm trying to get here all the emotions of them uh, smiling holding each other kissing each other and i also like getting these detail shots of the bride smiling which is really nice and also of course the rings because all this helps building a story all together so yeah i think detail shots are really important getting these nice smiles is also really important but of course having simple yet effective and romantic images filled with emotion and happiness it's also something that i really want to portray in these images over here so here in the second location we basically have this road which i have used in previous portrait shoots as well and as you can see here i have them on the middle i have them touching their foreheads which is a really really powerful 
pose and this is the end result over here which i'm really really pleased with everything is out of focus behind them but at the same time you can see that we have the trees hugging them obviously i photoshopped quite a few people from the background but that's quite all right you need to do this in order to have cleaner images and yeah overall i'm quite pleased with the final image from over here i also had them walking and as you can see on the left we have my friend John over here, which is doing video at the same time. We always try to work together, you know, he's trying to get video, I'm trying to get um, photo because we are a team. So throughout the whole video, you're going to see him probably left or right taking a few b-roll shots. I also have Iliana over here on the side, which was my second photographer for the day. She was using a wider lens and at the end of the video, we're going to also see a few images that she took because I was using something more telephotos. She was using a really wide lens and these two things really mix together in order to give different perspectives to the client and yeah help telling the story a little bit better over here you can see that i have my couple walking towards me and this is a really nice way in order to have your couple relax be more how can i say it like candid you know it's basically a moment where they are not posing so these images over here I quite like them and obviously the couple over here has beautiful smiles which also helps really uh, balancing everything out so over here as you can see we are in a beautiful third location and again i'm taking a shot with the 85 millimeter in order to have everything nice and compressed and i'm making sure to have a little bit of the trees on the left and also on the right of the image this is a really nice environmental shot and after that i got a little bit closer as you can see here and i'm taking some basic couple images which are also really important, at least in my opinion. You obviously you can do poses uh, with the forehead touching, the bear hug and all that good stuff, but sometimes you also want the more classical portrait. You need to have that more classical portrait. So whenever you can, just try to get an image like that. Over here, I'm trying to communicate with my couple in order to tell them to stand over there on the top. I'm not so happy with how these images turned out. Like, I think they are mid, to be completely honest. Like, they're not something special. But I kept them just because someone might like them. I also kept them in order to critique them, shooting from this lower angle. Uh, yeah, it's not the best thing but yeah what can you do so yeah some images are really good some images are really mid and these images over here are really mid in my at least opinion but this one over here this one i liked i, I shot horizontally so in a landscape mode and i had them strike a really powerful um pose over here i really love having them hold their hands and looking at different completely directions. I don't really like over here on the right the, how can I say, it? the rocks, whatever. But yeah, it is what it is. I quite like the image. And after that, we went even further and closer to the building itself. And we got a few environmental portraits with the Nikon ZFC and the 23mm 1.4 from Viltrox. I stepped the lens down over here at the F8 in order to get everything nice and sharp and everything in focus. But then I went closer and I shot this image at F1.4. Again, a nice environmental portrait. Nothing too crazy, nothing too complicated. And here's the final location of the portrait shoot. And these images are by far, by far my favorite. As you can see, we have them kissing each other in front of that beautiful building with the Greek flag on the top. Just a terrific image in my opinion. I love the composition, I love the editing, I love the, the light. Over here again, we have them walking down towards us. Yanis is taking B-roll while they are walking down and I'm taking images on the right. And again, in these situations, you're trying to get something more candid, something less forced. And as you can see over here, you can tell that we were able to capture these more candid moments. Over here, I noticed that the light was hitting the groom and the bride was in the shadows. So I had them looking at different directions once again she was in the background he was in the foreground i focused on him but at the same time i closed the aperture at f 3.2 so we don't get the bright completely out of focus in my opinion this is a really strong image over here both the horizontal and also the vertical image this is the last image that i took over here so once again i used the 85 millimeter 1.8 with the z5 from quite far away and Again, I prefer the horizontal shot over here. And yeah, again, one of the more artistic images of the day. So I'm quite pleased with what we were able to capture that day. And over here, you can see my buddy John doing again a nice close-up shot, which if you want to see the whole video, we have posted it on our Instagram page. I will link my wedding Instagram page down below. 
We have lots of weddings coming uh, throughout the rest of the summer and throughout September, October and November. So if you want to see more of this type of images and videos, then definitely throw us a follow and I'm going to be doing more of these wedding BTS videos here in this channel so if you want to see that as well then definitely subscribe like I was saying at the beginning of the video. Anyways these are some of my favorite images that I took that day obviously I have taken way more images than these but I don't want to show everything the couple at the end of the day was really happy with the images that they got so this is all that counts for me. Once again Ileana was the second shooter that day and she did an amazing job she was using the Nikon Z6 with a Viltrox 24mm, I think 1.8, which is a really wide lens. But she's such a talented photographer, that wide angle lens really helps creating a different perspective to these images. And as you can see from the images, she did not disappoint. So yeah, that's about it for this video over here. If you have any questions about the gear or about the posing or whatever it might be, please let them down below in the comments. Uh, if you have any critique to give about the images, again, please leave them down in the comments because we are all trying to become better here in this industry. So yeah, if you have any critique, please let me know. Other than that, I don't think that I have anything more to add to this video. Once again, if you're new here and you like wedding photography, if you like street photography, travel photography, car photography, and a little bit of gear talk um we're doing all of this over here in this channel so yeah if you like this content then definitely subscribe and if you enjoyed this video then again do me a favor and drop a like because this really helps out with the algorithm yeah once again if you want to edit like me presets down below and yeah i think that's everything that i have for you guys today thank you so much for spending a little bit of your valuable time by watching my content this really means the world to me and as always i'll see you all next time take care peace